So let's open the Ionic project in the editor of our choice. I am using PHP Storm here. You can use any editor. So first we need to delete these pages that were created for us by default. We will create the different ones and we will be using lazy loading. So first let's create these pages. So if I go to my project directory, I can run Ionic G for generate page and I can say quotes page and this will be the page that we use to display all of our quotes or the title of our quotes then we can use ionic g page quotes single or let's say quotes, quotes detail and let's create a new page for contact and the last one we can create one for login this will be our welcome page so if i go to our pages here we can see first we need to go to app module and we need to remove these imports here as we are using lazy loading so I have to delete these we can keep my app and after that in the app components we can change it to actually we are using lazy loading so we can use login page or I actually I want to show you tabs page first then we will move on to login page so tabs page so next we will go to our tabs page first we will use quotes here and the second we can use contact all right tab one root and tab two root then we can go here and we don't need to import it all right and quotes page and here we can use about page so if i have done it correctly we will be able to see uh, the tabs page first we can do let's restart the server okay so we have error invalid link tabs page okay i think we forgot something we need to add ionic page here now this should work i think i have to restart the server has a it doesn't course doesn't have a corresponding ng module okay actually we will fix it later let's first show the login page and see if it is working and let's remove ionic page here All right, so we can see the login page here. So I think so for the tabs page, 
uh, we can add ionic page now and we also actually I think I need to change this to contact page so we have contact not about and then we need to add a module for the tabs page so we can do create a new file tabs dot module.ts so we can add it here for this we can use actually let me remove it and that we can use tabs page mm, and make sure to import all the files here and tabs page here and then we can do tabs and in the app module we can change it to the tabs page so if it is successful let's run it again we can see it is showing the course page here okay again so it is showing the course page and if I go to contact page it is showing the contact alright so if we change it back to login page if we go to login this is same page so let's stick to tabs page for now so if we go to home page it will go to tabs page alright so in the next video we will Try to get all the codes from the WP REST API. So see you there.